What's up everybody? You know what? I want to ask you, did you have a good day today? Well, my day was for sure good because today I just received this very cool tripod and this very cool tripod head. Now these products are destined for video making and I actually purchased them to enhance the experience on this channel. So let's get down to business. First off, we have this Pioneer box. Now in this specific box we have the Wayfang WF717H tripod head. Now this is a fluid head and it is destined for filming and it will allow you for precise movements without any camera shaking or anything like that. So it is now time to open this tripod fluid head and see what we are dealing with here. Now this should be quite easy with this box, as I can see, there's no ceiling. There we go. This was an easy open. And we do have our box. We have some uh, pressed cardboard protection right here. And if we do remove it... Okay, this looks quite nice and sturdy. We do remove it, we can see we actually got the head right here. Let's take it out of the box and then we have also another accessory. We'll take a look into this right away. Except for this plastic bag there is absolutely no other protection in the packaging and this is not even sealed so we can easily remove our tripod fluid head from this packaging. So here we have the tripod head, the WF717. Now this looks quite sturdy and uh, the build quality looks great to me as a first impression. There's also a lot of controls, a tension control here and then a lock control here. There's also some quick release system for this, uh, for this shoe that is removable. You can remove it quite easily. Also you can mount two types of cameras on it. And it also does have some nice rubbery fit, so you won't damage any type of equipment you will attach to this tripod. Also, please note, this tripod does have an air bubble, so you can easily adjust it to the ground you are on. Second accessory comes in us in our aid to actually be able to fix the head to the tripod itself. So it's now time to open this bigger box, same easy opening method as the tripod's head box and we reveal, oh, oh this is kind of cool, we reveal some kind of textile material and I do believe this is actually a tripod bag. So let's check it out and see if I'm right. And yes, I do believe I am actually right. This actually does look like a tripod bag. We had a big box, now we have the big bag in front of us. So yeah, let's keep on boxing and uh, keep opening. So we're gonna unzip the big bag. And there we go. Easy to reveal the tripod itself. So now there's uh, another pair of straps here to actually keep this attached to the bag. So we, we are going to open these. They do open quite easily. Not much effort to do this. And with that said, we can actually remove it from the bag. What you can see right here, it's the tripod itself. It is now removed out, out of the bag. It's a really nice carrying bag, so you can actually carry this with you around. It's quite a heavy equipment, and I'm really glad they did include that kind of bag. So that will make things a lot more easier if you carry around this quite heavy tripod. So we'll just remove it from this plastic bag being the only other packing 
This tripod does look like an awesome minigun, so maybe do a little impersonating Hasta Vista baby. Yeah, so you can shoot things with it in your imagination, but in real life you can actually use it to shoot some really high quality videos. So this is what we are actually intending to do with it. Okay, taking just an overall quick inspection, we do have some sturdy knobs, they do look sturdy, this fit slide quite easily, there's another knob, so you can actually extend this to its full length, I hope you can have a quick look at the length of it, it does look of appropriate size, it does have a very satisfying click as it closes, both knobs look quite resistant. There's a pair on each side and yeah, to the back we also have a hook. Now I do believe this is used to actually keep this thing in place. Also you can see to the top area of the tripod we do have a mounting bracket and this will be the place where the ball joint from the tripod head will actually unite to the tripod itself. Now what we have here is the other thing that it was on the box and uh, this is the tripod's handle. Now this handle actually attaches to the head of the tripod itself and as you probably can see extended here it is quite long. Quite long, it has a nice sturdy rubbery grip and having such a long handle will actually help you do some precise movement with the tripod's head and that will allow you to do some quite precise filming with the help of this tripod. Now that we've actually seen everything that was in the box, I think it's time to actually assemble it and give you an overall look of the device itself. Now to give you an idea of how this tripod actually works and the, the way it all comes together, we have here the fluid head of the tripod. It is now attached to the actual feet body of the tripod itself. And then here we have that long handle we've been talking about. Now actually attaching a video camera or a DSLR camera to this head will allow you to actually take video footage. And not just any video footage, but this is going to be stabilized. It's actually going to have very nice continuous flow movement and you can obtain this by actually using the handle. As you can probably see right now the head does take really precise and really smooth movements and this is basically what it should actually do because it should help you capture those really really nice moving images and you can do this with the help of this fluid head. It is destined for filmmaking and you can see how precise these movements are and how fluid they actually are. Now I hope you are as interested as I am in this tripod and actually finding it more about how it actually works and performs while filming. And I would actually like to do a review on that. And in order to do that, I would actually like to ask you to show your interest, do some comments on this video, let me know if you do want to see a review about this product, do show some love to the video, clicking some likes, and if you do enjoy the overall channel, do not forget to subscribe to JoJo's Wonderland channel.